this is the last stream here in Texas. So I'm going to spend the next couple days, you know, doing what I need to do. I'll see you guys when I'm moved into my new place in my new uh, state. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. I love you boys. Hope we had a good stream. Hope you had fun for our last stream here in Texas. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. It was fun as hell. Welcome, 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 boys, to the coziest, most degenerately scheduled stream on Twitch.tv. How does it sound? TV. How does it sound good? We good? It's a little echoey still. I'm still waiting on furniture. They're, they're going to be bringing the furniture in and out for the next, like, 10 days or some shit, I think. I don't know. But yeah, hey, we're in here. We did it. Damn it. Can you hear that echo? Is it fine? We made it, boys. We made it to... Listen, I've talked a lot of shit about Canada, okay? I've talked a lot of shit, but I gotta, hey, listen, this city, listen, this city doesn't count as Canada, okay? This is hands down one of the best cities in the world, okay? Every other, hey, every, everywhere else, I'll make my Canada jokes, but this city, whole different, hey, whole different level. But anyways, welcome, boys. I've missed the f out of you guys. These guys are fucking nuts over here, okay? They're behind on the fucking vaccine shit. So when I walked in that airport, I'm like, listen, I'm double vaccinated. They're like, we don't care. Stand in line like like you're not. The f Look at me like I'm not, huh? Risk my goddamn life with this shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm crazy, bro. I got and took two tests already, clear, right? Negative for COVID. Just doing my, uh, you know, last uh, couple of days of you know quarantine, which should be good to go. But, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm waiting for my chair to have to use this and whatever this is X rocker. I'm guessing it's a rip of DX razor or some shit and hate these things. They're so uncomfortable. I got to wait for my desk to come in. I got to wait for my chair to come in. Uh, the guy sold me an arm thing for this sure microphone that doesn't fit. So I have to, I had to use this like $15 stand that's wobbling and shit. Okay. It's been all kinds of hell. Absolutely crazy. It's nuts. Fucking nuts. But hey, other than that, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Beautiful view. I'm telling you, back there in those mountains, there's a bunch of fucking trees. If there's vampires and werewolves, if, if those motherfuckers exist, they're there. I'm telling you, that is a fucking scene straight out of Twilight. No cap. I'm telling you. After I settle in, I'm gonna go on a, you know, after I finish everything, I'm gonna go on a goddamn hike, try and look for one of those motherfuckers to have them bite me. You understand? I'm coming back vampire and werewolf hybrid. You understand that? Uh, no. Uh, fuck it. whatever. Maybrook on the house, of BB, bro. Spe uh, unrelated to the donation dude i'm originally from arizona okay so back when i used to actually watch sports you know being a suns fan you know back in the barkley days which none of you guys were even born charles barkley it was hopeless seeing these motherfuckers can pop off is insane what the hell is going on and this chris paul guy has COVID or some shit so he can't even play insane and shit dude absolutely insane I mean, with that said, I'm still, you know, I'm still a Spurs fan, but, you know, good for them. Good for them. I mean, I'm going to keep it a buck 50, guys. There really isn't much to talk about. You know, I miss the fuck out of you guys. I'll, I'll, you know, bro, I was so, so the reason I rushed moving into here, even though it's not done yet, is because the place I was staying in between was supposed to have like 900, 900 internet, and it ended up having like 15 down and 0.98 up. And there's no shot I could like do another 12 days there. So I just rushed this so I can finish my quarantine in here and have it half done. So now we're in here, baby. Get. I'm happy we can stream. I'm, I'm, I'm low key gonna be streaming all day and sleeping all day. Like I told them like they were different, you know, they were shocked. I'm like, listen, all I need is a bed. All I need is my bed in there and my setup. That's all I need. They're like, no, no. I'm like, listen, that's all I need. They're like, oh my God. They were, dude, they were fucking like shocked. They have no idea what the streamer life's about. It's insane. Craziest part is one of the people's like cousins was helping do the move in. I don't know how old she was. She was younger and she ended up being a Carl Jacobs fan random. So I FaceTime Carl and she like freaked out and said hello and he started blushing and shit. So that was a small world. That motherfucker is everywhere, everywhere. You know, I'm walking in there like, who the f are you? And then, this, you know, Carl, the f <laughs> Jesus Christ. But if there's any Carl fans in here, guys, we're gambling tonight. So listen, as much as, uh, you know, I appreciate you watching and don't appreciate you being, uh, you know, drama queens. You know, tonight isn't the stream for you, but I appreciate the show up non, you know, regardless. <clears throat> weird flex, but okay. It wasn't a weird flex. It was a small f***ing world. Like, out of all the streamers that, like, someone would know, it's just like, I don't know. It was just, right, because, like, that's, like, Carl's a friend, but he's, like, not in my circle, right? Like, 
right? We all have circle of friends, right? Like if Carl, like Carl and them are like closer to like Miskiff circle than my style of content, right? So that's why it's like a small world. Podcast tomorrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get the podcast set. Yo, this mic sound fine? Yes, no? Maybe so? Flex and clout? Brother, that's not flex and clout, okay? What do you mean? Dude, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. There is really nothing much to talk about. Usually I go on a rant about now and start talking about stuff, but there really is nothing to talk about. I mean, let's see. What did I post on Twitter? I posted on Twitter some shit about self-love. People sort of, you know, a couple of people sort of freaking out. They mistook what I said. Typical fucking bullshit, right? I think I guess we'll clarify that now before we move on here. But listen, this is all I meant, okay? You can, you know, as a man or a woman or or, or whatever the case, right? You can you can sell your nudes, sell whatever, and like have self-love, right? Love yourself. What I was saying was when you get to a point where you're not posting it for yourself and, and, and doing your thing and you're posting it for like the relevancy and the clout and the attention, at that point, that's the opposite of self-love because you're at that point, you're fishing and seeking the approval of emptiness, right? Of people that don't know you. And that is the opposite of self-love. That's all I was saying, right? Like you look up and weird about it. Super weird. <sighs> I'm getting too old for this. No, 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 don't send donations, okay? We're not a donation stream. As you guys know, I, I don't, you know, I'm not good at reading donos because I'm, I'm more of a talker and interactor. So we're not a donation stream, don't donate. I mean, at this point, realistically, we got to figure that out, you know, put that somewhere. We used to be, right? But anyways, what did this guy say? Hi, Trainer, I like your, what, what are your thoughts on the Crowder and H3 situation? I'm going to keep it a buck 50, bro, okay? If you're going to open that resub up with, hey, train, I like you a lot, dickhead, two things to you. First of all, you can't like me a lot because if you liked me a lot, you would watch me enough where you'd know, I don't know what the f you're talking about. That's one. Two, you would also know, I don't give a f what the f you're talking about. So those two things right there already coincide with your statement that you like me a lot. Okay. First, you need to watch me enough to figure out if you even really like me or not. And my hair, dude. Look at my hair, dude. This is the story of my life. Let me tell you guys the story of my life, okay? This motherfucker, bro. I decide to get a haircut, okay? So I get a haircut, okay? Perfect in length. Perfect in length haircut. Then you know what? I'm looking in the mirror one day. I'm like, okay, this is perfect length, but I'm still in Texas, okay? I'm still in Texas. I don't need it to be perfect length right now. I need it to be perfect length in two weeks when I'm in Canada. So I hit up my, you know, my barber, my, my hair cutter, okay? I'm like, listen, I need to come in. Do you have any spots, right? We need to go shorter on everything so it gets to where it is now in two weeks, right? So now we're in this in-between stage where it doesn't want to comb to the right. This is my natural, you know, my thing, right? I, I do this, right? I've done it since my emo days, okay? And it's too short to do this, right? So it doesn't know what it's doing. I'm not even really sure what is going on myself, okay? Now, to those of you wondering who the f*** even gives a shit, I mean, you bring up a good point, okay? It really doesn't matter. But for me, listen, I'm going to give you a little backstory. I was supposed to lose all my hair at 18, okay? I was supposed to lose all of my hair at 18. Well, I shouldn't say all of it. I was supposed to lose all of this at 18. I was going to keep the sides, okay? You know, like a 45-year-old man, okay? At 18 years old, I was supposed to lose it. I was losing, like clumps of hair okay it was like falling out like it was just falling off like you know clothes of any just chatting streamer in 2021 and i was kicking and screaming you know my, my mom and dad were kind of being the wise parents like all parents usually are They're like listen we're gonna get laser treatment you know hop on some you know medication and you know get the rogaine going and you know me i'm young i'm like i don't give a f about this Fortunately, they pushed me through it and I did it and now I have my hair still, right? But without them, without the laser treatment, right? L laser treatment is just, it's literally a laser that stimulates, like it's its a laser that stimulates your follicles to grow, right? And then Rogaine, you know what that is. And then, you know, Propecia, right? So for me, the hair is just important, right? So that's why I'm always touching it with it, okay? This thing was supposed to be gone. But you know what? Then again, that's kind of contradictory if you think about it. that story, technically would show me the appreciation of having hair. Therefore, I wouldn't really give a shit about how it looks because I have it. But then again, it would be disrespectful to not give a shit because if I don't give a shit, then I don't deserve to have it. So I guess you could go both ways with this. Therefore, my story actually does make sense. So yeah, that's why I touch my hair a lot because you know it was supposed to be gone. So I wanted to you know look as best as possible at all times. But hey, it is what it is. Right now, we're in the awkward stage of things, okay? Not really sure what's going on. The lighting here, you know, I like the lighting here. 
I haven't fully, you know, figured the lighting out yet, but we're getting there, okay? There's like seven switches, okay? Each of them have like 17 different options, okay? I don't know what the is going on here, dude, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, you know, I don't wanna farm any, you know, good person bullshit. I'm not trying to say that at all, but listen, sure, I have money, but I don't spend it. Like the most I spend on is CSGO cases and giving back to people or you guys, okay? That, that, that's, that's where my fucking money goes. So for me, this shit's new. Do you understand? There's a fucking thing over here that literally says time of day, morning, something in the middle of morning, in lunch, whatever the fuck, and it sets the lighting to the fucking appropriate mood based on the lighting outside. And then there's a thing to the right of it that says mood, jazz, classical, love, sad. And you press it, motherfucker plays an entire fucking genre of fucking music that's appropriate to your mood and lighting, okay? I'm sitting here fucking wondering what the fuck this is by itself and then i have in seven different light switches that control 26 different lights okay i just want to turn the motherfucker off or on okay i don't need 84 different tints of light okay i need it on or off just and mark the motherfucker you know mark the motherfucker back light front light left light middle light right that's all i need okay i'm sitting here pressing the motherfucker like i'm doing some sort of r2d2 in configuration it's just crazy day okay Crazy day. Oh, <laughs>